the initial struggles of of forming the band, diba? So how was it? So uh, a brief background. I, my dad's a musician, so he taught me how to play the guitar. But uh, growing up, I was very active with sports. I played basketball a lot more than music. Mm-hmm. So uh, during downtime, I grabbed my guitar. My, my dad actually forced me to play piano. Uh, I, I took a piano lessons, but I'm too hyperactive for that. So mm-hmm. major tuition absorb didn't really excel there. College, I had a I was pretty steady during college. Um, and then, but then college was the time I started really writing serious music, uh, like serious songs, lang, but on something like more deep, more, more uh, reflective, emotional, of, more who good. Where I was back then, or my mm-hmm. hope, aspirations, my dreams. So it, college was uh, an inflection point for me, um, and mm-hmm. then. Um, the thing is, I, I live in Alabang. I don't know a lot of musicians mm-hmm. back then. Mm-hmm. Uh, I barely knew anyone who was in a band or maybe my circle. Medyo walang, walang musicians. But it was started after college. Because, um, you know, that's when life reality man, mm-hmm. starts. Mm-hmm. Um, everyone was starting... It was figuring out what to do. Like, dude, this is the mm-hmm. real world. What do you do now? Uh, so, my, my, my dad, well, sorry, my, my aunt in Zamboanga uh, mm. was offering me a job. So, yun yung, yun yung first offer after college to work there. Mm-hmm. But then, um, I, I was um, like, I have self anyway, I, I have high self awareness so I was like nah, it doesn't feel right my instincts my intuition everything was telling me to just you know wait it out and and and, and just explore the great unknown man and something will mm-hmm. come up I, I just didn't feel like I was meant to um, back then like, okay the city and work 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 uh work in the province. Although ang ganda ng ganda ng offer sa akin for for friend, uh, but you know it didn't feel right. So I was unemployed for a year, was figuring out what to do. Uh, our my brother and my brother Roda, our friend, yeah, we were selling stuff sa mga mga chunk uh, mga fi, mga uh, bazaar 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 man market oh. so. Was, uh, we were doing that on the side um, here in Alabang, my Saturday market. So I was selling some stuff also, mm. just to just to carry, you know, carry my own weight and not. It's mm. at the end. You know, you want to be independent. You don't want to be a drag. So you and know, yeah. for for a full year, bro, I was doing that, and then I was so tempted. I applied as a as a Preschool teacher. <laughs> Preschool Dude. teacher. Hello, oh because uh, back then, Major, I was doing um, a summer kindergarten program. Intern- for- oh, parang mga internship, internship na yan. So it was something I knew I had. I had. I had, I had the heart to do to do that. Uh-huh. Uh, was, uh the universe aligned man. I got a call from an uncle of mine. Mm-hmm. Sabi niya, dito eh, na may commercial model pero kami banda, so, ko. so um, I met up with him and he later on introduced me to my bandmates now, si Roel and si Pao. Uh, ah, pero, yun yung story. Pero, okay, we started off, we were we were five, we were six in the band. Walang, no no name, we were just, we all met. Mm-hmm. Our songs, you know, jam. Pumunta, pumunta na yung UST, okay. jam. Tapos, sa isang umalis lahat. Hanggang natira uh-huh. kami doon ni Roel. Even Pao back then, that's why I tease him. Oo. Uh-huh. Of the prodigal son, because he left us for another band. Um, so, we had a role. But the thing was, okay. role, 
we we really we we clicked like um, from a songwriting standpoint uh i loved his songs and then he he appreciated my music as well so from that from uh when everyone left we decided to pursue with this as long as we had the songs okay. or if we don't have the bandmates yet um let's work with what we have so what i did was i borrowed money from my dad bro that was mm -hmm. uh to finance a demo of, of our songs okay. and then with the help of my dad's friend we were able to come up with a you know with a decent demo demo a demo of five of our songs uh, it was the day broken side um blue sky yeah. so uh when when we were recording the demo uh five songs get the fifth one but it was uh row songs and my songs that was well this was all happening while we were looking for bandmates um, okay and then my dad was helping us out he was sending out those demos to different labels and I got I got a call from Roel one day. Sabi bro, I found a bassist. Sabi Brandon Boyd, and I'm like, oh, my perfect. <laughs> I wanna I wanna si Sheldon yun pare. Oh, so, si Sheldon. Sabi, so sabi ko, game, sige, sige, let's meet up with him. We rented a studio here in the south. Met up with the shell. Uh, and then he introduced us to our drummer back then, si Omni. And then after a few months, we were gigging. Parang gigs namin before. Talagang nightmare, man. Uh, Mahihiusap ka to para masingit. Tapos, uh -oh. uh, sometimes you have to sell tickets. Or you have to... Yeah, yeah you, gotta, you gotta bring in people to pay. Uh, but yeah, that was the grind before. Tapos... Uh, they bump you off from your slot. I mean, uh, we had this like terrible experience. Na our set was ten o'clock, naging three a.m. pare. Tapos by the time oh. we played, uh, so we were doing those crappy gigs. Uh, but it was very, um, it was very essential. Uh, well, no, That was the time to make mistakes. That was the okay. time to prove to grow uh and mm -hmm. after after a few months we got a call from emi philippines that okay. uh, that they heard our demo and they wanted to check us live okay. so mm -hmm. nakiusap kami, nakiusap kami na, sino may production dyan, pwede ba kami sumingit kahit three songs okay. lang uh, luckily okay. we the gig in Merix, it's, it's along Espana, and then mm -hmm. got signed. We were doing front acts, and then that's it. Uh, just, oh. uh, hard work, promote, and just taking lots of chances, taking lots of risks. Mm. Diba? I, kasi ito yun, eh. here's, here's the reason why. I mean, this is going to be one of the major themes of, of the podcast or the interviews or the conversations I will have with other successful people is that a lot of people want instant gratification. They think that they put out stuff out there, it has to be a hit or it has to blow up right away. Now, people tend to forget uh, ten, people tend to forget the struggles that there will be failures, there will be challenges, yes. there will you have to put in the work talaga. You have to put in the work. It 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 happens, yeah. Now I see and I hear from yeah from the music industry, from artists, and then mine as well. Like from my journey in martial arts and business to to dealing with people, and, and people think na na this was something that it's I well, talented guy. I always tell them I'm not talented, I'm not athletic, pero yun nga, I put in the work, diba? And at you least gotta now, put in the work, bro. Diba? So at least nga na kita ng tao, like people will extract value from this and say that yeah, but nothing good will ever come easy yeah, but of course there will be people who are who are who are lucky enough or to catch a yeah. break ng, yeah, but just uh, that quickly but yeah, uh, even the most viral of things right now 
they were doing or they were bombing before that, diba? So they all and they I, did was just execute. And I feel like whether in 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 anything, whether uh, like what you said in martial arts, sports, uh, music, in any career, man, failure uh, creates um, ca- creates character. It, it, it mm-hmm. creates the necessary experience for you to succeed, because you you can't. You can't you can't teach experience. You have to go through it, and exactly. going through failure, going through um, obstacles, uh, it, it it polishes you as a person in in everything, whether it's in sports, martial arts, or music. Um, oh, pare, before when I was playing, I could. You know, people, she, okay, sorry, go. I, I like what you said that you're not the most athletic, you're not the most talented. Because that's my mentality too, bro. Um, I wasn't born uh, with a perfect pitch. I wasn't born with a stage pe- stage presence. Na parang dude, this is my fucking stage. I own this. As soon mm. as, soon as the lights open, it's this is my off. world. I didn't have that. I had to develop that through years of practice, failure, and and, and learning. So. Mm-hmm. And and sometimes it's actually nice not to be gifted too much, because yung yung drive to learn, mm-hmm. the drive to succeed, that becomes your ally. That becomes your asset. 